I'm David, and this is the Lancer Tactical Advanced Recon Carbine. The ARC is a full metal precision machine. This AEG has the weight and feel of a real firearm. Now on this overview, I'm gonna start by telling you about the externals of this gun, but make sure to wait around until I get to the internals, because as awesome as the outside of this gun is, the internals and the performance are the best part. Now a couple things have changed on the ARC since the prototype videos. If you guys have watched the prototype videos, you'll remember that we advertised this gun as coming in a 10 and a half inch and a 14 inch but now we've also added a 16 inch on top of that. Also, we told you guys that this gun was gonna be all black, but we had the two-tone in those prototype videos. You guys all like the two-tone so much that now we're offering this gun in black and in two-tone. Now onto the externals. The ARC has a free float rail that mates with the receiver to create a continuous top rail. The upper rail is Picatinny, and the left, right, and lower rails are key mod. Each of these key mod rails comes with one Picatinny rail segment. This airsoft rifle comes with flip-up adjustable rail-mounted sights, which are made out of a heavy-duty polymer. This functioning charging handle will give you access to the rotary-style hop-up. Once you're done adjusting the hop-up, you can use the ambidextrous bolt release to close the imitation bolt. That's right, I said ambidextrous. The Advanced Recon Carbine has an ambidextrous bolt and mag release. Now, because the Advanced Recon Carbine is a high-end AEG, it comes with the first Lancer Tactical 180-round mid-cap magazine. This mag is constructed of a high-density polymer and seeds tight with the receiver. The ARC has a flared trigger guard which allows you to fire it easier while using gloves and it has a very comfortable high-density polymer pistol grip which allows you easy access to the motor adjustment. In addition, the ARC has three ambidextrous QD sling attachment points. First, you have these two on the top of the rail, then you have another two at the base of the buffer tube, and finally, you have these two incorporated into the buttstock. The buttstock is a brand new Lancer Tactical design. This streamlined stock has a cool skeletonized look and is extremely practical. With the push of a button, you have easy access to the battery storage. You can remove these two end caps to get access to the nunchuck battery compartments. And in this space, there's room for a very small lipo or your favorite MOSFET. Now, if you convert this AEG into an HPA system and you don't need these nunchuck battery compartments, you can remove them by pulling them back and out. Now, while we're talking about the buttstock, let's jump over to the internals. Because a few of you guys might be wondering, David, what was that red Allen screw that was inside the buffer tube? Well, let me tell you, it is a quick change spring. This quick change spring can be accessed with just the turn of an Allen key, without even removing your stock or buffer tube. Just pull your spring guide out, and there's your spring. Now, all the internals of the ARC are upgrade quality Lonex parts. So we're talking a tough gearbox shell and gear set, and a sturdy high torque motor. These upgraded parts are built to stand up to an 11-1 LiPo. And this, coupled with the good wiring, gives you a very snappy trigger response. Now, the cylinder and hop-up in the ARC seat very tight together, which gives you great compression. This will keep your BBs traveling straight on target shot after shot. For more info and details on the internals, check out this internal breakdown of the Advanced Recon Carbine. All right, let's see the ARC in action. It's time for a chrono test. Out of the box, the ARC is shooting just over 400 FPS. And with the quick change spring, that's easy to adjust. Just send us a message on Instagram or Facebook, and we'll help you pick just the right spring for your ARC. This ARC is adjusted to fire 380 FPS for our local outdoor field. Got him. All right, there you go, guys. After using the ARC on the field, I can tell you I really like this rifle. It's very solid. I love the flexibility of the key mod. Also, I put an 11.1 .1 LiPo in this gun, and I could literally pull my trigger finger as quick as I could, and it wouldn't short stroke. It was that snappy. I also really like the mid-cap magazine. This thing fed very well all day. I didn't have a single misfeed. It would fire right to the end of the mag capacity. So if you guys are looking for a high-end AEG with very solid internals, I highly suggest that you take a look at the Lancer Tactical Advanced Recon Carbine. I'm David, this is Lancer Tactical TV, and until next time, Airsofters, strike hard, strike fast. Guys, guns, 
AKs and Airsoft generally tend to be a less popular model, and unless you're willing to spend a lot of extra money, you're generally stuck with plain wood or plain polymer furniture, no way to mount accessories or optics. G&G &G has reinvented the tactical AK with an M4 style buffer tube in stock, a bunch of ambidextrous controls, optic rails, and most importantly, a key mod rail on the front. Now to start going back in more detail, starting from the rear of the rifle, G&G has added a M4 style buffer tube with their brand new GOS V2 stock, which is both retractable as well as has a friction lock and a hidden compartment for CR123 batteries for optics and flashlights. A slight difference with the RK74 Tactical, the longer model, is that it features a folding stock. To fold it, you press in here and it flips over and locks in place on the other side of the receiver. One small additional feature that's a big deal to a lot of AK users will be the sling plate adapter added, well, which means that people that are familiar with M4 variants can use their slings, whether they be bungee or two-point slings, on the rear of the rifle. Now to solve two problems that AK users often have, g, &G added an optics rail straight on top of the dust cover to avoid the use of a side-mounted optics rail. They also hinge the dust cover, which means that you won't lose it during gameplay. The selective switch for the RK74 series has also been updated, allowing the user to go from safe, auto, and semi with the flick of a finger. And again, small features make the big difference to the RK74 series, as the charging handle sits snugly in the selector switch to allow you to adjust your hop-up. And coming down to the trigger guard, it's been bowed out for easy use with gloves, and the magazine release has been extended to both sides to make it easy to use and ambidextrous. The front end of the RK74 series is what makes these rifles truly unique in the airsoft world of AKs. The key mod rail in the front of these AKs offers key mod slots at both the 3 and the 9 o'clock positions, while a single 1913 Picatinny style rail sits on the top. Now the only difference between the rails on the three different lengths is that the longer tactical and the mid-length elite are going to have full key mod with a small Picatinny on the bottom of the rail, while the shorter CQB length is going to have only Picatinny. But by far the most unique feature of the RK74 series is that in the longer tactical and mid-length elite version, both the battery and the MOSFET are going to be stored in the rail. Now that we've taken a look at the external features of the RK74 series, we're going to take a look at how the 6.04mm precision inner barrel and the ATU make this gun perform on the 5x5 target rack. So as you can see, instead of guessing where the target is and trying to pull the trigger before I'm there, with the ETU's trigger response, I can wait until I'm on site, on target, pull the trigger, and hit every time. The RK74's magazine is polymer, and to make sure every round feeds, g has added a follower that goes all the way through the magazine and then into the hop-up chamber. Now the last most important feature of the RK74 series has got g gs brand new ETU or electronic trigger unit system inside, which allows the gun to go from auto to burst right out of the box. Similar to the M4 platform, to switch the rifle into burst mode, you hold down the trigger for 10 seconds in semi, and then when switched to auto, the rifle's in burst. G&G &G has reinvented the tactical AK in three lengths, the long tactical, the mid-length elite, and the short CQB. So for a modern tactical AK, look to your local G&G &G authorized reseller later this year. Producing the Beretta ARX 160, not an M4, but it uses M4 mags. Whether you love or hate the aesthetics of this AEG, you won't be able to deny its performance nor its ergonomics. This is a truly ambidextrous rifle for those of us who know the advantage of being able to manipulate your rifle effectively, strong, or weak side. Its features are what makes this rifle one of the most universal platforms in the game. The stock is collapsible and foldable, and both the fire control group and the magazine release are completely ambidextrous. This ARX 160 also features the quick change spring option, which means you'll be able to quickly convert your rifle from outdoor legal to indoor friendly FPS limits. Head to Vet Up Real Estate for all your ninja accessories, ample battery storage in the stock, a quick release barrel for easy cleaning, and the fact that it uses M4 mags, and you have a mission adaptable rifle that is battle ready and extremely unique. Visit your authorized Elite Force dealer to see the Beretta ARX 160 for yourself. Don't forget 34 from Crosman. It's a spring powered airsoft rifle that shoots 6mm airsoft BBs up to 300 feet per second. The airsoft rifle features an adjustable M4 style telescoping stock, a quad rail system for mounting your accessories, 
The magazine holds up to 18 BBs with a 400 round reservoir. It's also available in a new fully licensed H&K G36 and G36C. The build quality of these next-gen G36s is noticeable from the moment you lay your eyes on them. The high-quality polymer is as close to the real thing as you're going to find. These are not your grandpa's G36s. These electric blowback AEGs come set up with low-res wiring and a built-in MOSFET to better regulate the electricity and current and protect the trigger contacts as well as providing the operator with a much improved trigger response. Add to that the fact that these G36s have a pre-upgraded gearbox, two-round burst mode, and a quick-change spring system, and you've officially run out of reasons not to buy this air. Elite Force is proud to bring you the next generation of M4 CQBs and CQC. These workhorses have been refined over six previous generations, and in their seventh incarnation, the improvements and upgrades put this AEG in a category of its own. The seventh generation improvements include a redesigned crane stock that hugs the buffer tube with minimal wobble. It also offers QD sling points on the right and left side of the stock, as well as push-button battery access, which dramatically shortens the time and effort involved with swapping out batteries. We've also added a vented motor grip, we've beefed up the charging handle, and a brand new tablet plate, which has been redesigned using an all-new polymer that offers the perfect combination of strength and flexibility to ensure years of continued use. Both of these AEGs have a flat-top receiver with a monolithic upper rail that is ready for the optic of your choice. The next-gen CQB and CQB the latest in automatic action, the Umarex Steel Strike. The Steel Strike takes its design cues from an M4-based rifle and boasts many of the same features. The Steel Strike features a multi-position adjustable stock. The stock slips off easily for loading two CO2 cartridges in the buffer tube. Downrange of the stock are flip-up sights, but with all of the Picatinny rail on the top, sides, and bottom, there is plenty of real estate to mount optics, lights, or lasers. When it's time to load the Umarex Steel Strike, press the magazine release button and the magazine will drop free. 30 BBs will be ready to fire and you'll need all those BBs for the fast action that the Steel Strike offers. The Lightning Trigger has a flat blade for lightning quick actuation and the Burst Mode will send 6 BBs out of the barrel in a flash. Finishing off the bold look of the Steel Strike is the oversized flash hider at the muzzle. The quick handling, easy operating Umarex Steel Strike is ready for you to flip the happy switch.